In the last video we have done the band structure calculation without spin optical coupling and in this video we will turn on spin optical coupling and see what is the difference. Actually it is very easy to turn on the spin optical coupling, we just need to add these three lines here. L spin opt means to turn on the spin opt coupling, and then this is to turn on the non-collinear magnetism, and we set the magnetization to be zero because lead is not a magnetic material. As mentioned before, you need to use full relativistic pseudo-potential, and SSSP library that we usually use does not support that. One option is the PS library that you can find in the official website of Quantum Espresso. And then you need to find the pseudo-potentials with full relativistic tag. The band structure calculation has the same procedure, <clears throat> so we don't do variation or cell relaxation here, we just start with the self-consistency calculation. So let's take a look at the input file. If we go to self-consistency calculation, and indeed we just add these three lines here to turn on the spin optical coupling. And then the second step is the um, non-self-consistency calculation at specific k points. Everything else is the same except that we add these three lines. Okay. And then this is the post-processing input for the bands.x, and here everything is still the same. I'm not going to run the code here, but now everything is done. And this is the standard output of the bands.x, and this is the output file of bands.x that contains the band structure, and those two things we will need to plot the band. Let's take a look at the Python script that we used to um, plot the band structure. This is from the last video. And now we would like to plot both band structure at the same plot. And this is actually very simple. We just copy that and paste it. The only thing is that we need to change the folder and two, two. And then we also need to change the Fermi energy because the Fermi energy may change a little bit. We go to the output file of the self-consistency calculation and that is shown here, the Fermi energy. So we copy and paste. And this is with spin opt coupling. Another thing is that we would like to choose a different color and line style for different plots. So I will add it here. Color equals green. So we choose green color. And then the line style is dashed. So it is easy to distinguish. Then let's save and plot it. Okay, and you see that for most of the parts, the calculation with and without spin optical coupling is quite similar, except that at W point, at L point, and also at K point, and also at this gamma point, there are um, some differences. So let's copy it to the chart. And we delete the previous figure, and you see that everything is quite comparable with the literature. Yeah, so the deviation here and near W, near L, near K is quite similar. Okay, so in these two videos, I have shown you how to include spin optical coupling in the band structure calculation and what is the effect of spin optical coupling on the band structure of LED. If you learned something from my video, I appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.